business right now, Trish? Um, I'm not. I, I can't say not struggling. struggling. No. I ain't struggling. I, that, that's what helps me keep on going. What's that? Um, I, I do eyes. So. Okay. And that's what gets me going. And, and nowhere in the Bible it says, Thy shall not do drugs. And, and I'm going to say it too, in the Ten of Commandments, it does not say, I, Thy shall not do drugs. So we're not committing a sin. All right, guys, we're back here in uh, the skate park here in Beaver, Texas, man. All right. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing fine. All right, man. I'm doing better than most days. Um, just here at the skate park in Beaver, Texas, uh, okay, right cool, off of Mako. All right. By the, by the way, what's, what's your name? I forgot to ask you. My name is uh, Patricia Nekantu, but they, everybody calls me Trish. Trish. How's life treating you so far, Miss Trish? Um, it's all right so far. So uh, far? It could be better. It could be better, right? Yeah. Okay. Like the best of it. Yeah. As, uh, as I go every day. I hear you, girl. With our Heavenly Father right beside me. Yeah. So how old are you, if you don't mind asking, Miss Trish? I'm uh, 40, between 44 and 45. Oh, okay, in between 44 and 45. 45. Okay. Yeah. Let's, yeah, let's keep it that way, yeah. In between it. Yeah. yeah. Originally, where are you from, Miss Trish? I'm from Beaver. Oh, you, you're you from here? Okay. Yeah. 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 Hey, Trish, uh, so what are your current situations right now, and how'd you end up like this? My current situations are, as you can see, homeless. I got my bags with me. I stay under the bridge, um, but looking for a better, brighter future. I mean, I need to come Working up. on it, right? Yep. Oh, okay. That's I never thought I would end up like this, but it happens. <laughs> well, now I really know it happens. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Never say so, never, right? Yep. I well, said so the day that, because I would see people back, I mean, back then, uh, walking around with bags in their hand, I'm like backpacks and stuff, and I would, and I would be like, you see people like that, or what? yeah, walking around with backpacks, and I would, and I would be like, what? I said the day that I walk around with a backpack like that, you can really call, call me a skunk. <laughs> 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 and, then, uh, yeah. and then, so now they can really call me that, but um, yeah, it's not, it's not all about that. People that walk around with backpacks are, are really great too. I mean, oh yeah, they, definitely, they're yeah. Uh, awesome people. I think they're better than than, yeah. than any other ones that. Yeah. Their heart and everything else. Um, yeah. What's spirit. a what's a typical day for you, Trish? Uh, a typical day uh, right now. My days are. Um, it's it's different every day. Oh, definitely. Yes. Yeah, it's different every day. I can't say it's the same day. I mean, every day, the same thing. It's uh, something's always interesting with me. Every, every day is interesting. Um, right. Like right. today, I was. Well, I got to stay in a motel last night. Um, thanks okay. to my boyfriend, Leroy, but at a, um, he got me a room last night. I got to shower up and right and uh, relax and and yeah, because it was kind of cold last night. Yeah, it was bad. It was bad. and he yeah. bought me some um, Thanksgiving and stuff like that uh, right. plates that I was um, able to enjoy there at the room. So how how do you maintain yourself? Do you provide? Do you boost? Do you uh, panhandle? Do you? Uh... No, I actually don't do that. Um, like um, the churches around here, they um, they let me take a shower there on, on Mondays and Thursdays. Um, after that, I mean, I go to my sister's house in Bernice, and um, she lets me take a shower there too. Um, at Leroy's mom's house too, uh, my boyfriend's house. Um, so you got cut some kind of to support somewhere? Well, yeah, those are the ones that help me out like that. Help you out? Yeah, yeah with that's that. Good, man. Um, yeah. Oh. Or a, way, motel. Uh, yeah, in a motel. Or, yeah, motel. Or a motel. Are you struggling with any type of substance right now, Trish? Um, I'm not. I, I can't say not struggling. struggling no. I ain't struggling. I, that, that's what helps me keep on going. What's that? Um, I, I do eyes. So, okay. And that's what gets me going. And and nowhere in the Bible it says thou shalt not do drugs. And and I'm gonna say it too. In the Ten of Commandments it does not say I thou shalt not do drugs. So we're not committing a sin. If yeah. It's okay with the Heavenly Father. It's okay with me. <laughs> I say. Just uh, I when I do it, I, I do progress. So I do, uh, I get up and I, I'm motivated to do um, to do things and um, exactly right. But then when I when I don't have it in my system, then then I'm there's there like stuck there and yes. And uh, when, you, when you got introduced to all those the, the substances, that, you know. Oh. Um, Introduce. I'm gonna say I'm gonna introduce myself to it. Yeah. <laughs> I want to introduce myself to it. Uh, a long time ago, um, I mean, I used to drink. I used to be a drinker. I mean, I used to drink. Right. A binge drinker would, is um, what I used to do back then. Was I get a beer and I thought there was that was the 
the last that's the last one on the face of the earth you know i had to drink it all the way to the last one you know right um on the weekends and but now i don't even drink it no more it's yeah. been several years that that i don't drink anymore going back to that ice so uh, have you had any family members uh, friends that uh, passed away due to any type of substance oh no i mean my family members uh always keep a distance away from me because uh, the way i i don't know i mean they they're they they're doing their own little thing and i'm doing mine and right and yeah. we, we really never sit there and, and, and party out with each other or anything right. like that. So if I, if I do go around them, it's just um, like gatherings and stuff like for dinner, dinners or, or holidays and stuff like that. Um, we don't sit there with each other and, and um, share the drug or nothing. Right. I mean, they, I'm opposite from them, as you can see. Do <laughs> <laughs> you have any, any children? I'm the oddball, I guess, as you can yeah. see. Yeah, I got three children. Okay. Um, I have a truck driver's son. Oh, okay. Um, and uh, from him, I have like three grandchildren. Um, from grandma. him. Grandma. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. a grandma. Then I have a, a bottomist daughter. She's a bottomist, and she had and she's getting her RN. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's she good. needs one more year to get her RN, and she actually helps me out with my youngest one too. Um, my other one, Sierra, Sierra Ann Vasquez. Um, she stays with her sister, my uh, my older my older daughter Abigail. Yeah. She helps me out with her, so she wouldn't be out here in the streets with me. Yeah. Um, How did um, you you keep in contact with them, right? On the, yeah. Like, and here and there. Yeah. What I did go over there and. Um, and I'm on the waiting list for the apartments behind H-E-B. Oh, okay. I've, I've been on that for quite a while already. They, um, the first time they, she put me on the bottom list again because somebody answered the phone at my mother's and, and said that, I don't know what they said, but she went ahead and put me on the bottom of the list again. I mean, I had to reapply again. Reapply, so. yeah, it's a long process, man. So, yeah, the waiting list of getting an apartment, especially in a small town, it takes forever. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. So I am, I did do that already. I accomplished that. Um, I, I'm number, I think she said 17 on the waiting oh, list. Oh, almost there. Trish, for, uh, almost there. Yeah, for, for a two bedroom there for me, my daughter, uh, yeah. Sierra. So that's why my other daughter Abigail has her. Yeah. Well, right that's good. You're me. working, trying to get a place right yeah. now. That's good. Right now, I'm not working right now. I was receiving unemployment, but um, like I say, um, I'm Miss Little Robin Hood slash royalty. What I need to do is um, I'm trying to get my money from the IRS, but I'm a victim of identity theft. Oh, okay. And uh, you need that personal PIN number to, to get it or or got rejected because of the personal PIN number. Yeah, yeah. Um, you gotta, you gotta so I have to send it by paper. As soon as I send it by paper, then they'll be able to hopefully um, give me um, hardship yeah. so I can get back on my feet again. Good. Um, yeah. I did purchase a, a long time, a while back um, an RV cash so I wouldn't be in the situation of being homeless. Okay. And I did purchase a car, a vehicle cash so I wouldn't be in the situation either. But I lost everything. I mean, oh, yeah. I lost everything. I never thought it would be like yeah. this, but. How, how was your, your childhood growing up, Trish? Um, my childhood it was it was awesome i had i had the best parents in the world i could say i never got hit or um, there, there was nothing there was no punishment i mean we were never grounded or right i don't believe in all that i mean i don't believe in grounded they would tell me they would tell me back then uh we're grounded or what the hell well, i mean <laughs> i never i mean like, what the hell is grounded you know yeah. there was never punished I mean, they never punished us or or anything right. like that so my parents are awesome i mean yeah. um what's one of those things you do you you regret in life do you have anything you you regret in life no i, I really don't regret nothing i mean like no i don't yeah. i can't say that i regret anything yeah. have you had a good a good stable job before um yes like i said i was um providing for my mother until she passed away a provider? Okay. providing services i would provide for her and my um my handicapped sister brenda before she and then she passed away back way back then and then and then i with my mother i mean i've done more than providing services i've done other other things too okay but um i'm miss little red robin hood slash royalty too that's so right. patty uh, they have the uh, Robin Hood pantry up there, up the street at the at the church, where they give um, 
pastries for uh, homeless pastries or um, sweet bread, like donuts. They and, uh, provide like hot and, meals and all that? Um, they, they put cereal in there the last time, the vegetables and and waters and drinks and like that of um, for us to stop and get it. And some hygiene too as well. Uh, the Little Red Robin Hood. They uh, call it Little Red Robin Hood, and that's me yeah. because I wore a little red jacket to um, Child Elementary for uh, every day. For, for not for, for, I just would wear it to school every day and sit in the, the gazebo. Um, I helped my sister Brenda gone through. She was handicapped. Um, they were being abused a long time ago. Um, right. Yeah, yeah. And my, her classroom was down the hall from mine, a second, third grade, and uh, I witnessed the abuse. Uh, right. I've been in the pits of hell ever since then, uh, of nothing but contamination and, and stuff like that that people were doing to me. Right. It's, it's really hard um, ever since then. I've been in the pits of hell. Um, but you know what? I'll go through it again. I'll go. I'll go for them. For the for them again. I'll do. I'll go through hell again. Right. Um, they couldn't speak. Many of them couldn't speak because they're handicapped. But I could, and I was in second, third grade, and I was going to do it. My sister was in that classroom, and they weren't going to do that to her. Yeah. Um, the whole town went to court for for this situation that that occurred a long time ago, where uh, the teachers were actually fired. Um, and so then there, you, there I was stuck in the pits of hell. Um, all the family members from the teachers and everything else were, would treat me bad. So I would wear that, put my jacket on and go sit under that gazebo, you know, yeah. at Tyler Elementary. And um, but I, I'll do it again. Right. Um, they're not, hand, they're not retarded. People will call them retarded. They're not retarded. I, I say that they're handicapped. They're not retarded. The Olympics were also involved because. Um, they would take them to the Olympics and everything too, back then. And um, so, our nationwide is on our side. Right. Um, I believe I have property um, in a lot of places uh, nationwide, but um, people have hidden my property from me. Where now I'm homeless. Uh, people will say, "Well, you have all this property that that you paid for a long time ago, and and uh, why are you homeless?" You know. Well, for everybody to understand. Uh, they didn't tell me about my property. My family members on both sides, they never mentioned my property to me. They um, they banked off of it and, and put in their bank accounts and everything else, and I was left, I was left out and didn't know. That, huh? I had no clue at all until like three or four years ago. I was I was in the taxi and um, they, did you know about what's going on on, on Cantus Lane? Uh, I mean, uh, about the Cantus? And I was like, no, because I'm Patricia at Cantu, you know? And I was like, no. Yeah, well, all the planes and everything were down here. The golf course bought, uh, bought the property for a quarter million dollars. And I was uh, like, are you serious? And he was uh, like, yeah. So then they still didn't even, my, my mother or my family members, she was still alive then three or four years ago. And she, they still didn't even tell me, or, uh, hey, you know what? They're gonna, they're gonna tell. We have to go over here to this building so that way they can, um, they can tell us uh, what we're owner, what we're rightful owner of. Right. And so all of them went. Apparently, all my family members went, and everybody. But they were, I was too busy on this side, I guess, doing my my ice thing, whatever. Um, yeah. And my job too, as well. I mean, I would, I would work to do my job too, but. Um, they uh, okay. Well, she's over here doing this, so the, we're not gonna let her know. You know, we'll just, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, uh, so that's what happened. Uh, Where would you like to see yourself in six months, a year from now, Tris? Uh, one of my houses, one of my properties. One of my properties, I would like to, I would like to get. I, I've told them uh, spiritually too. Um, you know what? They can keep the hotel motels because I, I believe I'm rightful owner of that too. That I paid for a long time ago out of my pocket um, okay. because um, we won the courts. Right. The teachers were fired and stuff, and um, I'm also the afterwards of the Civil War. Um, if you look at my the back history of because uh, my papa he was adopted, Mr. Cantu, my papa he was adopted by he was Everett, and then he was adopted by Cantus. So then we became Cantu, and then on my mother's side, uh, my grandpa on my my mom's father was a sergeant in World War One and Two. So then I look back in the back history and history and and on the Everett, um, Hitler, Hitler, Hitler is related to us. But on the other side of my mom's side, it's the Pentecost. Yep. So then, like they're Catholic, but a lot of them were Pentecost too. So then you put that Hitler, and then, you know, and these were Catholic too. But I'm the afterwards. So both of that blood and that blood resides in me. I'm the afterwards. <laughs> there wasn't much of war. Yeah. That's what runs through my my veins, you know. Right. 
They were going to throw me at Michigan Lake, I believe, um, when I was the age of 17. They balled me too. I, they balled me too. I mean, like what Hitler did to the Pentecost, you know, he balled right. them and everything, burned them. Well, I, I, sure I enough, I got know a lot of history. Yeah, I got my share of it too because yeah. they balled my ass. So I was not like, what the hell? No way. Well, but let's I, go back, me, uh, I didn't have, let, let, I didn't have back. no clue. Yeah. Like, so uh, right now, uh, we had three wishes. What would they be? Their wishes is to. Um, to enjoy life the the rest of my life with my with my children in it and okay. um, my grandchildren and um, one that's one give me two more and so one at least one of my properties so okay. to <laughs> I can have a roof over my head and another one is to help out my friends out here that need the need the right, shelter house as well they're going through a lot of struggles yeah. as well right yeah. help them out that's good yeah. and um, yeah. and the ones that they do help me out right now is the the better the family and, and um, all them that. Um, you're Michelle right. and the Thomas and stuff like that. All They'd right. help me out. Um, I would like to see them with uh, yeah. blessings too as well. Yeah. Hey, well, Trish, well, listen now. And the Martinez, uh, Bernice too, yeah. Martinez family. Oh, okay. I know you're going through a lot of struggles right now. Uh, say you're homeless and all that, and it's kind of cold right now. I, I might have some stuff here in the car for you, maybe mm -hmm. something warm or something. Yeah. Get you going, you know what I'm saying, at least for today, or you uh -huh. know, trying to get you going, more. get you... Uh, motivated or mm -hmm. something, you know, get you out of that negative. Yeah. You know, yeah. So that's that's what's my future right now. Is um, I was gonna go to the post office in a little bit and um, see if uh, check the mail and I need to see if, how I'm gonna get get a hold of. Uh, okay. I charge my tablet. I have a tablet here for now. I can um, make phone calls off of it and get a hold of the IRS and see how I can get my own okay, cool. my money back. But in the meantime, let's, feet, let's, let's get you how. something warm, you know what okay. I'm saying? And okay. uh, we'll take it from there. What do you say? Uh, yeah. You, you good with that? Yeah. All right. All right, guys. We'll be back then. <laughs> yes, um, guys. Um, All right, guys. We're, we're back with Trish here. Uh, so what do you think, Miss Trish? There, there is, a, there is hope. I mean, there is hope. There is faith and belief, and and like angels here on earth, uh, the God sent me an angel here on earth to um, that came and gave me an outfit that I'm really gonna need tonight to keep yeah, warm. Yeah, yeah. Even though the sun this is out right now, yeah, this cool. is it's awesome. Good. This is very comfortable and stuff. I had chonglers on, like I said, and I had a skirt and um, and this outfit that He's given me as a blessing and. Um, I yeah, want to thank our Heavenly it? Father from up above for him coming over here. I was actually very, very thirsty too, and he brought me a water uh, yeah, a drink so too. And, and, yeah, well. So this, that was also a blessing. Yeah, a blessing because I was sitting here. Um, I was sitting here and I was like, man, I, I was very, very thirsty too right now. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, no. so this well, this came in handy. To, I mean, when he got here, I said, do you have a water? He said, yeah, here he has a water. So, <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, Right now, you know, it's not much, but it's better than nothing, Miss Trace, right now, I'm saying. You know, yes, yes, so. help you out in some way, you know. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for sending him. Um, yeah. Oh, by the way, here's some, uh, here's some other stuff for you, uh, Trace. Uh -huh. A little hygiene kit for you. Thank you, thank you. Got I'm gonna need all this. Um, I have to get in there and start brushing my teeth, right? right? Because everyone's always telling me, your teeth, Trish, your teeth, Trish. I was actually very good at brushing my teeth every day, you know? Yeah. And then all of a sudden, they were contaminating my, the reason why I stopped brushing my teeth, but I started buying Listerine. Okay. Yeah. But oh, another thing, there's some community resources right there, Trish, if you want to get your, uh -huh. whatever you, uh, you know, trying to get your uh, ID, your birth certificate, or uh -huh. license or anything, reach uh -huh. out to you, like, especially that, uh, you know, you. I'm not saying you're struggling with that uh, ice, you were saying, but... Oh, no, 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 it, no struggle with ice, no, that, no, that's, but, a, that's a blessing people. also. <laughs> yeah, but if you have any issues, call these folks, hopefully they can help you out, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, Ew. yeah, okay, well, Ew. hey, uh, so what kind of message you have out there to the world? That, um, a lot of issues like you. That I have to the rest of the world that there, keep on going, keep on going, people. There is a future, and the best future of them all is I'm going to heaven. That's yeah. my future. They always ask me, what's your future? And I'm going to tell them right there. I'm going to shoot it right back to them. I'm go. going on my way to heaven when the Lord's ready for me. That's, That's my right. future. That's the best future ever. Um, the best love, too, is from our Heavenly Father as well. Yeah, people, people think that when you're homeless, I mean, a lot of people 
when you're homeless, you get depressed and everything. Um, um, you you think that there's nothing there for you, but there is. Their heavenly Father is right next to us. The angels, the Lord, the Lord, the angels, Jesus and Mary. Right. Um, they're right here that keep me going too. Also, my children too, and my grandchildren uh, keep me uh, motivated to keep on going. Uh, people like you as well. The, Thank the, you. the Lord has sent me here, sent you here to um, um, right place at the right time today. Um, I was actually very thirsty, and he bought me some warm clothes to keep warm tonight. Yeah. Um, um, I'm still, my future, I, I have a future, like I said, the best one is um, going to heaven also, but here on earth, uh, until he's ready for me here on earth, I'm looking forward to getting my money from the IRS, hopefully I can get it someday right. for um, yeah, doing hardship. Keep making those phone calls, yeah. hopefully you can get yeah. that going. So that way I can um, get back on my feet again. Good. Um, Good. That's so. good. Hey, well, Trish, well, I just want to say thank you uh, okay. for your time and, you know, your kind of try to share your testimony with us. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Like, you're not the only one. There's a lot of folks out there as yeah. well. Yeah. But uh, in the meantime, you don't mind if I share this on my YouTube channel? We're good? Yeah, you can share it. Okay, man. All right, well, you have, uh, keep your head up. Stay positive, okay? Yeah, yeah, I sure will. And you have a good day, all right? Uh-huh. Same here. All right, thank you. Uh-huh.